is a rubber puck that are designed to take the strain off your upper body when standing on the foot pegs. You adjust them until your boots are resting against the rubber pucks. The result? Much less arm pump, upper body fatigue and upper body cramps. They can reduce leg fatigue as well as you don't need to grip the bike as much with your lower legs. They have become increasingly popular with off-road riders, especially desert racers. Toby Price uses them in races like the Fink Desert Race. So does Ben Grabham and a pile of other racers. A lot of enduro riders use them, especially for unfit or older riders who get a lot of upper body fatigue. <laughs> I fall into the latter category. In my 60s, I increasingly have problems with pre-arthritic fingers and carpal tunnel syndrome. These disappear once I use steg pegs. I use them on both my enduro and adventure bikes. If you are thinking of using steg pegs on an enduro bike, see our enduro version of this video. I want to focus on dual sport and adventure riders because steg pegs are now available in these categories as well. In 2024, they are available for the following bikes. If you are a dual sport or adventure rider, steg pegs are designed to work with your standard boot. If you use short boots, then the rubber pucks will press into your skin. <laughs> Not very comfortable. Also, if you use over the boot pants, the rubber pucks could eventually wear through the fabric if you have cheap textile pants. I have climb pants and no problems with wear after thousands of kilometres. What are the benefits of steg pegs? As already mentioned, there is much less pressure on your upper body. Your leg muscles are much stronger. So if you lightly grip the bike with your knees, you will anchor your legs against those rubber pucks. They can help with correct body positioning. The ideal default body position is a slight crouch with your body weight to the rear. In fact, you can see riders in this video using poor body positioning. They are standing up straight with locked legs and leaning forward. You can stay standing on the foot pegs longer. We all know that feeling toward the end of a tough ride when you sit on the seat to conserve energy when you know you should be standing. Steg pegs will keep you on your feet for longer and in better control in rough terrain. You really notice the difference on long, rough, uphill tracks. There is a tendency to lean forward when you should keep your body weight over the rear wheel for traction. Steg pegs keep you in that correct body position without the strain of pulling constantly on the handlebars. A common criticism is that steg pegs prevent you from moving back on steep descents. Now, this is quite rare for most dual sport riders, but you simply stop gripping the bike with your legs. Then your legs should just slide past the rubber pucks. Steg pegs come with two rubber pucks on each side. If you have trouble moving your legs toward the rear, just put one rubber puck on each side. Another criticism, some riders say these are just a crutch and aren't needed if you lose weight and get fit. Yeah, to some extent I agree with this, the ideal is always to get fit and avoid crutches if possible. But we all make different lifestyle choices. If you don't have the time or inclination to get fit, I see no problem with using steg pegs to reduce fatigue. Also, this criticism often comes from much younger riders who don't have arthritis, tendonitis and all sorts of health issues that start to emerge in your 50s and 60s. And occasionally I hear those riders say if you need crutches like steg pegs or a lighter clutch, you shouldn't be riding motorbikes at all. Ah, this kind of judgmental attitude really pisses me off. I know army veterans with other body issues due to the sacrifices they have made. Try telling them they should stop riding. And there's no way I'm going to stop riding despite arthritis and carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> I welcome anything that lets me enjoy my passion for longer. Recently I was riding in Canada for several weeks with the Traction E-Rag crew. <laughs> Most of the bikes did not have steg pegs. I did daily exercises to prepare for the trip, but man, I was still aching all over at the end of each day. Eventually I had to sit on the seat most of the time to take the pressure off my arms. 
It surprised me just how much I now rely on steg pegs in my 60s. If you are thinking about buying steg pegs, I hope this video helps. Remember, try our tips for preventing arm pump, work on good riding technique, consider losing weight and getting fit, and if you still have a lot of upper body fatigue, then definitely consider buying some steg pegs. Thank you.